Critics calling out the gray lady for caving into pressure once again. The New York Times dropping its longtime sponsorship of an oil industry conference. This amid an outcry from the far left. 70 climate activists were recently arrested during a protest outside the paper's headquarters. The Times releasing a statement saying, quote, the subject matter of the oil and money conference gives us cause for concern. We want there to be no question of our independence or even the potential appearance of a conflict of interest, end quote. Well, the Times has partially sponsored the oil and money conference since it started back in 1980. So is this really about a conflict of interest? Yeah, I actually think it is, David. And first of all, I want to apologize to my very good friend, Christina, for calling her Katrina <laughs> this last segment. I've heard well, we were but... talking about hurricanes, you know. It's... That's right. I I'm just all like... discombobulated. Oh. I've gotten all kinds of texts from uh, Christina and several others during the break about that. So I apologize. But I, I look, I actually think this is a good idea by the New York Times. I don't think it's necessarily caving into the left. I think it's a very polarizing topic. And when you have a chance to, to not be in a polarizing topic, as the New York Times does not want to be, it, look, 50% of the country is going to hate you for this. 50% is going to love you. To me, there's no reason to do this. I think it was just a business decision. I hear what you're saying, but I would say that they shouldn't be sponsoring any conferences as all at all as a result of it. Why sponsor it since 1980 and just pull out of it right now? And the flip side of this argument is the Times does a lot of stories, extensive coverage about climate change. This particular conference, I'm well aware, um, it is really a leading oil and gas conference in terms of the CEOs that it brings the conversations that it brings you can't ignore a whole segment of industry that wouldn't be fair either but does that i don't think they're necessarily ignoring it i think that they're, they're not putting their money and their name behind it they may still report on it which i think is valued especially when we talk about journalism but it raises the whole question ethically they shouldn't be sponsoring it they right? shouldn't be sponsoring if, if anything they, yeah if they're yeah exactly they really shouldn't yeah yeah unless they yeah, preface it and then they when they're covering like every time they have to cover it as a reporter they have to preface hey we put x amount of money behind this just like we have to disclose when we hold stocks jonathan Christi christina would you be cool with the new york times sponsoring a, like a green energy conference or i mean look there's that's a low shot I, I, the whole thing that jackie well, just no, brought up I mean, now is no sponsorship because they're supposed to be a news organization well, covering the news not sponsoring but it's news. a fair well, question they, they, would you they could, they would could, you would you be against that as well yeah yeah okay there's an no, answer well, you know, i mean i'm not surprised i'm not surprised that they don't want to sponsor the oil and gas conference because oil and gas unfortunately isn't very popular right now it's a shame because these big companies I don't know if they deserve our sponsorship, but they certainly deserve our appreciation. Look around your house right now. Almost everything is made of some type of oil byproduct. These are the Marvel uh, uh, innovators that push man's life forward. In fact, uh. man's life has never been better. All I'll say is that if you want to have no carbon footprint, go back to the dark ages, have little <laughs> candles. Man's life was about wow, 31 years old. Wow, that is such old. an over-exaggeration. You know we have debated this many, wants. many times. I agree. Oil has revolutionized the way uh, the economy, America, the rest of the globe has worked. But we we need to so step forward. We need to step forward and start evolving. Think of a clean energy, new innovative. I was looking at Lockheed Martin today. They have a new f a nuclear fusion uh, thing that they're working on. I'm not even saying it properly, but there's so many steps that we can make in the but, future. Uh, and I look, think that you negating but, that is not the best. I, I'm not negating it. I mean, you mentioned nuclear fusion. The irony is that the Greens are the ones who are the most against nuclear energy, which is like a, a tremendously clean. They're against anything that works. So not surprised the New York Times wants to By no the party. way, and there's one problem with their explanation. It comes just on the heels of them changing two stories because of, right. of well, protests. I mean, yeah. I, again, the question is objectivity. Does any of this affect their objectivity, which has been under fire recently? It's, it's an open question.